Hello everybody, um, I was not planning on making this video, but um, I decided to, I need to go through all my books and get rid of some that I'm never going to read because I have way too many. So, I have like no makeup on and I just got home from school, so enjoy not seeing my face. But yeah, I just thought I'd document this journey and if I decide to get rid of them, I'm gonna put them all on eBay and see if I can sell them there. Um, but yeah, if I can't, there's a Goodwill opening by my house, so I'll probably just like donate them. But yeah, I already have a few right here. That's my bed. Um, these are a bunch of actually like school books that I just haven't been able to sell. And then those are some, um, books that I'm gonna give away. These I'm not. I just, I had to put them there. And that's my, my camera and my backpack. Yeah, I'm going through my actual bookish right here and I found, I'm not gonna read this one. I was, it was on top of that, but I kinda don't wanna read that one. So I'm gonna probably give this one away cause I started it and then just never continued and I have no real desire to. I actually have a um, book shelf tour on my channel. I'll post it down below if you wanna look at that. But yeah, this one I actually got from a publisher and read it. So I'm gonna keep that because memories. <laughs> But all of these, honestly, these are books that I read like as a kid, not the other bowling girl. Um, but like the girl with the dragon tattoo. Am I ever gonna read this? Why did I buy why did I buy this? Why? I guess that might be good to have around. I don't this is this is a maybe pile, maybe. But like all the rest of these, I read those as a kid. The Princess Academy book, I don't even know if I read that as a kid. I don't even know. Alright, but moving on, like all of these I probably will keep yeah you know what honestly not this bottom one i've been wanting to read that end of the french kiss one for a really long time so i'll keep that one to get around to it eventually and there goes uh the catcher in the rye i actually don't like this book um <laughs> but uh, i when i was in high school i started a um what's it called a book club the first book club at my school so i'm gonna keep it this is what we read and i didn't care for it <laughs> this one has a really pretty cover but like I don't ever think of myself going to get for it, so. These over here, oh my god, look at how little they are. Okay, the this one, I don't even know what this is, so I'm not gonna keep that, but all the rest, look at Judy Bloom. Oh my god, Maniac McGee. I'm going, so much nostalgia. I don't know if you can hear, but I have my K-pop um, in the background, so. <laughs> um, but all of the, this one was a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. But yeah, these are all, I'm gonna keep all these. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, if you read this, let me know if it's good. I'm curious as to if I should read it. This one I want to I want to read eventually. This one I've read, and then this is the other um, Suzak book that I want to get to. And then, oh boy, um, The Wanderer and Ingo. This one I've had literally forever, and I don't even remember if I ever read it. And then that's what is that trash back there? Um, and then Ingo, I don't even know if I read this. You know what? I might have, and just don't remember at all I've had these two for so long so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep them and then like these the lovely bones such a good book um what is over here the hours what's that yo I did not even know I had this what is this passionate profound and deeply moving the hours is a story of three women oh it's one of those interesting I have no idea where I got this um but yeah the lovely bones good book the little princess oh and then this I've had this forever too and look at it isn't it just so I love it so much and this weird book that I got it because it looked old and I don't it, I got it literally at like a furniture store they don't even sell books there yes I love you I love Cuba 15 I love the time traveler's life I love I am legend the movie was better it really was and then these right here oh my god my uncle got me these when I was like really small and I never read them <laughs> but um we're just gonna keep them because they were a gift all right moving up one um these i'm gonna keep i have the grapes of wrath is one of my favorite books like ever sold also um marie lou here's one of them my brother's reading the newest one i have to get it after him i've only read um these are out of order <laughs> um i've only read the first one and i read it when i was like in a sophomore in high school because i bought it for a project that we had to do in that class um but i'm going to read those eventually and they're just really beautiful books so we're not getting rid of those i forgot i had these okay a child called it really good book um it's crazy but it's really good peter and the star catchers am i ever gonna read this am i more trash over there um i don't honestly am i ever gonna read this am i am i the other ones i got them off of um that one website what is it called with the book the books 
you know, something. This one, what was this starters? Ellie lost her parents when the spore wars wiped out everyone between the ages of 20 and 60. She and her little brother, Tyler, are on the run. Oh, so it's like a, this guy's kind of cool. This is also maybe, I don't even know. I think, you know what? I think with this one, there's two books in this duology or something. And the second one doesn't even have the same cover. So probably not going to read this one. Hello. And these other ones, I picked them up because they looked really interesting. And I think they're a duology. Sarah Crossan, Croson. Um, it's about like, it's a dystopian where there's like no air. Um, and that just sounds really interesting. So I'll probably keep those. All right, then one over is all of these books. I have been wanting to read a Bardugo book forever. And I have all three and I really want to read them. This is not a real book. <laughs> Um, Monster Calls, definitely want to read that. I wanted to read it and watch the movie. What's back here? Princess Bride, Dear John. Dear John is so good. Okay, um, but the ending is really... There's something about Nicholas Sparks' books where the endings are, like, not the most satisfying. Anyways, Water Tales, pretty sure I read that. Incarnation, am I ever going to... Incantation. I bought this when I was in elementary school, and this was one of those books um, that came with the fair, and I never read it. And honestly... I'm just going to give it away. I'm, or I'm going to try and sell it because I've never read it. All right. Um, oh, A Certain Slant of Light. Um, I read this book. Um, I went to North Carolina to visit some family many years ago when I was like 13. And we were at a store and the fam knows that I really love books. Um, and I found this one and I read it. And it's actually really interesting. It's about this girl and she's like a ghost, I think. And she like gets with this dude like in a class. I don't, I don't even know. It was weird, but I, it was pretty good I think and Pretty Little Liars oh this book is just not the most amazing thing on the planet <laughs> to be honest but and the show was not even the most amazing thing ever um but it's great to binge and I've been watching it since the beginning so I was very sad when it ended I honestly shed a tear or two because I had been watching this since the beginning and then it ended and but yeah um I read I did read this I read the first one and it's basically the first episode of the show so I'm gonna keep this because sentimental value <laughs> But, um, okay, oh, here we have the, um, I'm hitting books back here, and I'm stabbing myself with this something over here. Um, but right here, okay, where is Hunger Games? I need, I, need, oh, wait, you know what? It's on my desk back there, because I need to read it for a children's literature class. Okay, um, Cinder and Scarlet, these are part of, like, a quartet for books or something like that, and I started reading the first one. It didn't continue, but I'll keep them just because I might read them. Okay. Back there, As You Like It by William Shakespeare. What is this? Wow, can you see the dust on that? That is gross. Oh, you know what? I bought this at that store with a friend of mine. So I'm going to keep that. Um, What is that? Oh, my God. Okay. Ah, something wants to fall. Okay. Um, So I got this at that same store. And I, when I went with my friend, we're like, okay, let's find the weirdest books that we can and then just get them. Um, the fuzzy papers. What even are you? You're like a weird cousin of Chewbacca. I don't understand. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep this because it's like funny. Um, what's, Water for Elephants, so good. Shane Eyre, that's a classic. We'll keep it. Um, Interview with the Vampire, I actually really enjoyed that book. I read it for fun when I was like in high school, I think. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I want to continue with, I think I have the vampire list stat somewhere or I don't. And I just think I do. I don't know. Where the red fern grows. That's just like a classic. So we're going to keep that. Okay. Then right here I have my whole and some Purell. Hello. My whole Harry Potter shelf. Obviously we're not throwing anything away. Oh my God, this is all so dusty. Okay. So I have so much just merch everywhere. So what's even behind here? My friend got me that and I got this Game Boy when I went to Idaho when I was very young when those were a thing because my mom and wanted to keep us me and my brother entertained oh well, yeah and I got this when I got them the young elites so it was cool this is something my friend made me oh and here what are you doing up here the time turner you need to be eh. yeah isn't this so cute though she made me this and there's a candle inside and it's that it smells good these are all of the Amber Share books, The Sisters of the Traveling Pants. Then this one, and then this one. I don't know. This one is really, like, it's really, um, like, badly. It's in bad shape. My Big Bang light stick that's covered in dust. <sighs> wow. The, <coughs> oh, this dust situation is really bad. Oh, and there's a Lionel, I think. All right, um, Fangirl. I really like that book. Um, and I have a lot of Rainbow Row books, and I've only ever read Fangirl. 
and Eleanor and Park. Actually, I read that one too. And then Carry On is the book. Oh, no, no, ah, no. Nah. Okay, Ron is down. Um, but I have Rainbow Rowell's books. And I think, you know what? I'm just going to keep them. One Two Brothers, I bought that a long time ago. Heard it was good. Going to keep it. Oh, yeah. And here we go with my own personal DVD collection. My favorite 80s movie of all time. I think this is still my favorite Marvel movie just because it's what, like, got me really into Marvel. All right, I'm also collecting all of the Series of Unfortunate Events books. And I only have, I need, like, four more, I think. So here's 12 and 13. And then back there, I have, um the rest yeah i have so i need two four seven nine yeah that's it oh my god i have so many books i have all of them. okay behind there is books it's not just one ghost here this is a little bear that i got in north carolina hello bear um back there is a giant photo thing that my grandmother gave me a long time ago i'm keeping all of these marilu one of my faves hello um just if i stay in where she went i really enjoy these books i like where she went more and I actually have a book review for the both of them on my channel and it has like over a thousand views for some reason i'm not sure and then these books are also by the same author and i haven't read them yet but i want to so i'm gonna keep them and then all these over here um these are just books that I've picked up when I've gone when I've actually gone to Barnes and Noble. So this is literally as many times as I've gone to Barnes and Noble. It's not even all the times. <laughs> oh shoot, Shiny's Lucifer is playing on in the background. Hello. Anyway, so yeah, um, these are all those. Gonna keep them. So up here we have all right, milk and honey. Definitely gonna keep that. Red Queen, I've heard is really good. Gotta keep it. Um, Freedom Riders. Definitely gonna keep that. I haven't read it, but it's one of my favorite movies. These I've heard are good, so I'm gonna keep them. Yeah. And then Amy Tan, The Joy Luck Club. I've my mom really wants to watch the movie, and I have the book, and I'm like, I gotta watch the, I gotta read the book first, and so I'm gonna read the book first. Then we have BB-8. Hello, BB-8. Come down because I need to show the people um, the rest of the things. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. So these are all my K-pop albums. Um, <laughs> <coughs> oh god there's dust everywhere i'm sorry this is actually not an album this is my um high school diploma <laughs> this is my high school diploma hello all right so let's bring all of these down because they're in the way what is this oh this is a bts uh thing this is my love yourself album this is another poster that's bacon but um i can tell just by looking at his eye all right then we have exo and i bought this without like thinking of the fact that repackages exist. So I have both of these. This is the Young Forever album. I, this is, oh God, this is probably my favorite BTS album um, because Save Me is on it. And I really, that's my favorite song of theirs. Um, and it's just beautiful. But then yeah, this is the, um, this is the biggest album I have. It's so big, the war, the EXO one. Oh my God. Love Me Right is falling. But yeah, then I have Love Me Right. This is the repackage of Exodus. I'm not sure. And then I have a couple of Red Velvets. And I really want the Dum Dum one because that's their actual album. But then they're coming out with another album. And so I'm very conflicted. What's down there? Oh my God. What is this? Oh my God. Those are the God 7 things that I oh my god um fun quick story so I actually sold my got seven album and the person that I sold it to was like are, do they come with cards and I'm like you know what honestly I don't even think I got them with cards and I just found them so I should probably message her and be like hey do you want me to send them to you but yeah anyway so um red velvet here is the wings album the g version because x uh namjoon is in it what is that? That's the Wings poster. This is Winner when Taehyun was still in it. Um, he's not in the group anymore, but I still really love this album. And then Taemin and then Shiny because I just... Oh, God. Oh, God. Simba's falling. Simba's falling. Ah! Alright, so up here we have a whole bunch of Jody. Oh, my God. Do you see that dust? That's so embarrassing. Okay, um, Jody Pickle. Um, I read My Sister's Keeper and I really loved it, so I just try I tried to, like, for a while I was really on a Jodi Pickle, like, thing, and I really wanted to get all her books, so I'm gonna keep those just because she is a good writer, so I want to keep it. Um, up the, the girl on the train, oh, definitely gonna keep these, like, hello. Alright, The Help, one of my favorites, Kite Runner, The Kid, that's, like, the sequel to Push up there, which is, remember that, do you, if you've seen that movie, um, Precious, yeah. And the mountains echo to thousand splendid suns by college of sunny that is the guy who wrote the kite runner and i bought those new at a goodwill all right and then fifth wave i do want to read that um william boyd i don't know what that is so i might grab that lexicon also i don't remember what that is so i might grab that hello milk and honey um i am malala definitely i haven't read that and i really need to obviously keep that amy polar definitely i love her to death um dan brown books uh yes lisa c shanghai girls i've heard that's good and i bought it and i want to read it so yes all right to get up there i need a chair so 
Give me a second. Okay, so I actually haven't been up here in a really long time. Um, and these are all my Funkos. Hello, Hagrid, Harry, Sirius, Albus, Mikey, Sam, Dean, uh, Galena, Chandler, Ray, Mulan, Poe, Finn, Captain America. Hello, Steve Rogers. Mantis, who I relate to on a very personal level. Um, Will, Jack, and then over here I have Bella and uh, Swan. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you could, I don't know. Oh man, I'm gonna have to take these all down. Oh well. So over here we have, what is this? Somebody up there hates you. Literally never gonna read that, so that's gonna go. All right, then those, oh my God, please excuse all the dust, that's so embarrassing. Um, I'm gonna keep those just because I've like, have heard they're good and I wanna read them. Then these right here, Hidden Figures, I bought it with the full intention of reading it before I saw the movie, then I never did, but I'll keep it just cause. The second one right there, I read, um, a publisher sent it to me and I really liked it, so I'm gonna keep it Legend, one of my favorite YA books of all time. Um, Beautiful Creatures, really good. Daughter of Smoke and Bone, really good. Both of these are trilogies, well, The Beautiful Creatures is a, has four in it, but both of these I loved. The first books and then they got progressively worse which sucked yeah and i actually have the beautiful creatures um thing and i you know why i bought this mostly because viola davis is in it and she's my favorite actress of all time hello oh yeah and then i forgot i have wow dust galore hello um these are bookends and they are shaped like typewriters god so much dust so much dust this is so gross okay so move hagrid um those are the rest of my beautiful creatures books and the other ones of these books Move along to the side, please. Move along. Okay, so back here we have, um, what is this? This is, oh, uh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, sure, I'll keep it. All right, the Duff, since you've been gone, Between Shades of Grey, I'll keep that one for sure. Um, plus one and Outlander. This one, honestly, probably never gonna read, so we're gonna just, there's so much dust. If you can see that, um, sorry. <laughs> since you've been gone, I don't honestly, oh no, oh no, ah! Oh no, I dropped, I dropped Red and Chandler. Okay, I'll pick them up. Um, probably never gonna read this. I remember getting it because people were like, it's really good and there's like a poster in the background. But like... It's so my camera actually died, um, so we're just gonna be using my phone from here on out. Too many books. So, um, Between Shades of Grey, I'm definitely gonna keep. Plus one. Outlander I wanna keep just because, like, if I ever wanna read it, it's there. Alright, move along Mulan and... Right. All right, so over here we have, okay, um, these are my Divergent books. Where is the fourth one? I'm so stupid. It's right there. Wow, I'm looking at it through my phone and I can't, and there's another one of my favorite, um, like, yeah, YA books of all time. This one was literally, okay, oh, I'm on a chair and I almost fell. God, I almost died. Side note, I'm probably going to upload this tonight, but um, I have a ghost story that I kind of want to make a video about, so might do that tomorrow. Not clickbait. I honestly want to make a video about this. But anyways, look forward to that. Um, then we have the Maze Runner books right here. I read all three and I really did like them. They were entertaining. Um, I bought The Kill Order, the fourth one. Never read it, um, but my brother did. He said it was all right. All right, yeah, those are all the books that I have up here. I knew I didn't have that many. This is the other. Oh, look, there's like not as much dust on it. This is my other bookend. I love them so much. I got them at Goodwill or like Marshalls or something. Love them. All right, then over here, these are my new curtains. Um, those are very loud and they make very squeaky noises, which is annoying. Actually, you know what? All these I'm going to keep except the, the, I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm probably going to get rid of this one and like this one and we'll see what's behind here, but I'll get rid of those. Oh yeah, and then this is the picture that somebody drew of me. Isn't it great? I love it so much. And for some reason I got into, I wanted to buy, I wanted to start buying like giant art books and I still love them, but I got this for like $7 off Amazon, like just one night. I don't know why. I like Renoir though. And then underneath I have, oh, hello, good, unstick. Um, The Secret Art of Dr. Snooze, and it's all his like weird drawings. <laughs> And then I have some nail polish remover right here, which is what I need, because if you've seen my nails as I've been pointing at stuff, they need a, uh, a touch up. All right, so I'm gonna, John Green books, Tylex from Cuba, I bought that. All these things we have done, The Lie Between Oceans, The Devil on Her Tongue. Um, I might get rid of these. I'll, I'm debating on getting rid of the John Green ones. The Fallen Our Stars I won't because I've read it and I really like that book. Um. Maybe these bottom ones I will. Maybe not the light between oceans, but maybe I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. The Gollum and the Ginny, which I heard is really good, and I want to read the Cuban um, <laughs> flavor book. Uh, I don't know where I got that even. Codename Verity, 
might keep it. Life of Pi, not sure. Um, the Shadow of the Wind, yes, I'll keep it. The Clockwork Scarab, my Oedipus Rex is right there. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> um, but might keep it. Um, and then the other two I do want to keep because I've heard it's kind of a fun story. It's a really good book. And then A.S. King is a really good author. And then I just have a bunch of random books right here. But these are actually for school and I'm in the middle of reading that one, which is really good so far. But I gotta keep them. Yeah, so as I end this video, we're just going to look at um, the Goonie and my Goonies poster. I love this thing so much. I'm right here. Hi. But yeah, that is my unhaul. I'm going to try and sell these on eBay, actually. And then if I don't, I'll give them away. But um, yeah, that is my nail polish remover. Um, <laughs> But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. I hope you liked it. This was really random and impromptu. And I wasn't even on planning on making it. Um, But yeah, I hope you liked it. Okay, bye. Thank you for watching.